Hi everybody and welcome back to the painting channel today we're doing plein air we're going to go to the seaside and we're going to paint in all so let's crack on and let's run that intro let's see what happens catch you all soon <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back. As I said at the start, we're off to do another plein air adventure in the van and I'm going to go to a place called Littlestone. The beach there is wonderful, it's very flat, should give me some lovely sky vistas. The clouds are really remarkable today, nice and sunny but they're punctuated with the clouds and a little bit of shade here and there. So we're going to go and see and investigate that. I did want to put the drone up and see how that worked but unfortunately we're in an area which is too close to an airport so I can't actually put the drone up there and anyway it's way too windy today so I think that we're going to struggle with wind and noise anyway but let's just clear off let's go and uh, let's get to Little Stone let's get set up and let's see what happens I'll catch you all very very soon all the best for now Hi everybody, welcome back. Now, I actually didn't get quite to Littlestone. It's another two and a half miles up the road, but a place called St. Mary's Bay, which is about two and a half miles from home, so it's about halfway to Littlestone. Uh, it's a lovely place by the beach. I've absolutely forgotten all about it. I used to come over here a lot as a child, uh, a lot of fishing with my father, and uh, had fond memories of this place. It's a place called St. Mary's Bay. It's a little road that comes from the main road up to the beach and by looking at the amount of cars here it's well um, frequented. A lot of dog walkers, a lot of walkers, cyclists, all that sort of thing going on here. But I've just looked over the top and it looks quite good so it would be nice maybe to do a plan air from here, film it, see what happens and um, yeah gonna have some lunch here in the van and uh, my lovely wife prepared me some sandwiches so I haven't got to do anything heating up wise maybe just a coffee later uh, all the usual stuff and um, yeah so we'll do the painting and uh, I film it as best I can it's very very sunny and um, we'll look at the aftermath and see what we think of it at the end and I'll get back to you then catch you all soon Here goes nothing. Let's see how we get on. So first things first, got to do the drawing. I've got a 12 by 10 board. Okay, so first and foremost, smaller brush, just a small flat to do the drawing with. Okay, so now then, where am I going to place this? Well, I think I can get away with quite a low horizon line. So I'm going to put something quite 
through there, I think, as my horizon. One of the colours I really like to uh, tint my skies with is one called Jean Brillant, which is from Windsor & Newton. It's one of two colours of theirs that I actually do use fairly often. I'm going to add some of this into my white, which turns it sort of this almost greenish colour, but it really does excite the blues. And we need that to bring it over toward the sun. It bleaches out as it comes this way towards the sun. This is where it would have been nice to have had a tinted canvas ready to go. That way I would have seen all my whites and lights very early on. That's my mistake, it's not a big deal, not the end of the world. Now you notice the way I'm holding my brush, it's a little bit close to the ferrule, I know, but at the same time I've got this sort of control, and I'm doing that mainly because this is a dagger brush, and it really does work from so many different angles, and uh, it gives great opportunity, great marks that you can create with that. And I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to come over. I'm still using a dagger, but I'm going to use a smaller one. This one slightly had it. <laughs> As you can see, I must get hold of rosemary and get some more ordered. In fairness, I'm sort of getting a little bit uh, low on brushes that uh, through this pandemic, has uh, they have been well used, well abused, and in need of replacement. So. I must crack on to that very, very shortly. I'm going to put a little bit of red into that, a little bit of my uh, Indian red and a bit more blue. Just see where we take this all darker green color. I just want to come in with some of the forms that are evident and then maybe a bit more green.
It's all subtle little shifts in the drawing that are making this happen. And there's a little bit of green come over there and then we can cut this away low down and out of the pitch plane. not actually trying to create all the architecture we're merely trying to create the shapes the visual shapes and get rid of that there and take that down like that all right anything that's out of kilter when it comes back to uh, creating this later then we can play around with that but I've got my buildings that I'm bringing down what I'm gonna do quickly though I've just seen it happening I'm gonna use this light a little bit of yellow which would be the Indian yellow a little bit of orange into that and I definitely want to put in what I can say that's way too dull so you think you've got it and you're nowhere near it Let's clean that brush off. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to remix it, take some white off to one side, tap of that, I don't want too much of that this time. And what I've got up here is a lovely sense of light along the beach up towards the top of the sea wall there. I'm just going to bring that up around there like that and that creates the sense of the, the motion of the water, the waves hitting around that bank there and then we can make some of those go out into the water. Now the degree of light and dark is uh, governed by the degree of contrast that we see the other way around. The degree of contrast is governed by how much light and dark the subjects we are painting come into it. And I need to bring that through there. And that is suggesting that line of water that runs all the way through that area there. And I've got to change a little bit of what we're seeing up in here. This area is a little too high. Bring that down there. And that then comes into that area there. That's fine. And then that will go on around like that. I'll live with that. This water is changing constantly. I just can't keep up with it. I'm going to have to stop the chase.
a little bit of a dark, that's a little bit too dark. All right, can I light that up a little bit? Be a little bit more careful. Okay, we've got this nice sort of light, shaft of light coming through here. I want to pick that. And the only way I can really make it pump is to darken the sea leading into it. Now there is also a little bit of light in the foreground here, so I don't want to replace one with the other. Right, now then, um, we've got a lot of darks, but here we've got a lot of people walking around, so now this is quite difficult in some ways because we've got a very dark situation down through here, and I need to capture the people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap in a few sort of shapes that could be people for the moment anyway and um, depending on where they are really there's sort of a couple here now let's try and build them up and give them some form of stature so they look convincing Keep wanting to add some more light down through this area. Like I say, you've got to learn when best to stop. I think I'm there probably five minutes ago, but I'm just... I think we're almost there anyway. Just trying to add in just a sprinkle of light into this area. Nothing wrong with a bit of finger painting. <laughs> just the white on some of these clouds, I'm, I, I'm not changing it so much. I just like the way that some of these clouds are now coming in with a stronger light to dark factor, which is really quite nice. I'm just going to play on that a little bit, just add a little bit more in. I think that's time to stop, I really do. Unless he puts the last mark on.
Hi guys, welcome back. Now I have had a fantastic day today. I did the oil painting on the beach earlier on and I then came back to put everything away and have a bite to eat and a cup of tea. Well, I made the cup of tea some time ago and I gotta say, in this thermal cup, it's just still way too hot to drink. So I didn't wanna dash home. It's a beautiful afternoon and I wanted to make a little bit more of it. now. I then decided to try out my new table. I built this little table to sit in front of me so that I can clip it onto the kitchen area. I made a couple of legs out of broom handles with a little bit of carpet on the bottom. It works fine, albeit a little crude, but it does work fine. It fits the bill. I can sketch and I can draw with the tailgate up out the way and, and it's fantastic. I've just been sitting here and uh, enjoying people walking past with their dogs, golfers and walkers and cyclists and I've just been doing a little bit of painting and, and a little bit of watercolor that's what I did and I just put that in front of the camera just briefly I hope you can see that well enough now whether or not this actually makes it into the video I don't know I'm getting set to pack up and go home I just wanted to briefly say about the oil painting I really had a lot of fun doing it and uh, although the weather was changing in terms of the clouds blotting out the sun at different times so the whole sort of light dark thing was constantly in flux and um, it's at those points when you really must not chase the light change things do things like that because you will end up with a big muddy mess on your canvas so the thing is that um, yeah I hopefully I demonstrated that enough not to do that I nearly fell foul of it myself but I stayed away from it enough hopefully I'll get this all, all edited out for you by Friday so that you can sit back and enjoy it at three o'clock as always and don't forget if you have liked it give the video a big thumbs up subscribe if you don't mind that would be fantastic and click that bell icon that would be fantastic too all of these things help uh, YouTube understand that I'm uh, a channel that is worth helping and promoting. And at the end of the day, the more people that do things like subscribe, uh, add comments as well, and uh, click the bell icon and put the thumbs up, all those things, it really helps out and more people get to enjoy the content that I'm creating weekly. So please do those things, that'd be fantastic. And if you've got any thoughts and comments that you would like me to address in the future, whether it be something on any media really, on sort of any problems that you have and you'd like me to cover them, or indeed an aspect of plein air or the van, and one thing that, just put it in the comments and I'll try and oblige you. Um, and with all that said and done, don't forget there is my Patreon that is growing each week and uh, I'm adding to it constantly each month and it doesn't cost you but five or ten dollars a month to get involved with and for that you get so much uh, for your money you get uh, heaps and heaps and heaps of um, real-time fully narrated videos for you to enjoy and watch and learn from there is a weekly live stream every Friday evening which all my patrons are invited to nobody else just my patrons and there is a dedicated Facebook page purely for my patrons as a community where you can post your work ask questions get help get answers and interact with me and every other patron on there who's a member so why don't you just click on the links down below underneath the show more tab and check it out doesn't hurt you to check it out but you might just be interested enough to get involved in which case I'd love to welcome you on board I'd love to have you as a patron and help you even more with your art so that would be fantastic in the meantime well what can I say I'm gonna look forward to getting this edited out for you on Friday and I catch each and every one of you in a video the following week I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing yet but hopefully you'll enjoy it when I do so take care everybody stay safe have fun lots of painting and don't forget thumbs up bell icon subscribe bye bye <laughs>